Oh man, this video is going to be really hard to talk about. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jen. Uh, today I have something kind of super important to talk about. Um, if you guys have me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter and everything, you've seen that I have posted something really huge about myself. Um, and this video is just me kind of expanding on that and getting out what I want to say and how I feel. Um, putting it in words on a computer is pretty easy, but saying it out loud is, uh, the hard part. Uh, recently I found out that a amazing girl just, um, committed suicide because her parents did not accept who she was and um, she was born a male but always knew in her heart that she was a female and everyone, all her friends knew and everything and when she told her parents, her parents did not accept it and that is something that kills me because that's something that every person that's going through what she did, she was, is afraid of. Things like that, um, they're not okay. Like, I don't understand how people can continue doing that because you see them all over the news about these parents that don't accept their children and it's just, it's unacceptable. Like, you gave birth to this child, you raised them to be the best person that they can be who they are and not follow the crowd and this is how you treat them. This is kind of one of the reasons why I hide, I hid who I was for like 12 years because I was afraid of what people would think and how they would treat me. Society hasn't really changed for a bit like you think that because there's laws giving gay people and straight people and bisexual and lesbian people rights that society would be different and be more accepting but it's not and it's a really cruel world out there as much as we like to think that every parent is gonna love and support their children and accept them for who they are there are gonna be parents who are very simple-minded and just um, doubt everything and only go by what they believe in and not by who their kids actually are and it sucks. I am bisexual and I have been since I was seven years old. I came out recently um, because I believe that even though people won't accept me for who I am that I still do. I still do and I, I believe in myself and, and I love myself and I know that nothing's ever gonna change that and no one no one's opinion of, of me is gonna change who I am because it only matters about what I think of me and I think that's something that a lot of teenagers should have they should have that mindset that they are who they are and nothing can change that and no one can tell them what to do and who to be and how to act it's just, it's, it's crazy that people think they can do that and um, a lot of people just need to believe in themselves. In this day and age, it's, people say it's okay to be gay or straight or bisexual, transgender, queer, whatever you are, and yet people still get treated like shit and we still get those strange looks when we walk down the streets. And we still get called names and get hurt and hit and bruised and how can we live in a society that does that? Um, people need to stop being so simple minded and realize that being homophobic is the same as being racist or sexist or ageist. And once you figure that out, I think the world would be different. Um, people would start changing their actions and a lot of people would still be alive. Um, 
also I think it'd be a, a be a safer place for kids to actually come out and say who they are and believe in themselves and just accept themselves as what they are and who they are and not have anyone else judge them. We, we're not put on this earth to please people or on this earth to make it a better place and we're just taking advantage of that and there are so many more serious issues in this world than your kid being gay like there's chemical spills and pollution that is killing us and you're worried about your kid being gay I want everyone to know that they have a voice and if you're not ready to be heard yet there are places that are safe that you can go to or call there is the kids help phone and there are so many different groups and school groups that you can go to that will support you and give you that hope in your life the last couple things I wanted to say was don't hide who you are and don't be afraid of who you are because one day you're going to make a change in this world and I know that I myself will stand behind you and so will others. It is scary um, trying to tell your family and those around you in your life who you are. Um, I mean, I, I told everyone else in my life about what I, about who I am and how I've been hiding it, but it's, I still haven't told my mom or dad, and it's really scary and nerve-wracking to know how they're going to feel and if they'll think of me differently, but then again, how they feel is not really going to kind of affect me because... I know who I am, I love who I am, um, who I am is amazing to me, well I think, uh, and, oh god, and nothing, no one's opinion is gonna change how I feel about myself, uh, I love who I am and so should you, and if you watch this video and feel the same way but you you know, don't, can't tell anyone. I do have Twitter, I have Facebook, I have a lot of social media stuff that you can contact me or contact anyone that would listen to you. I will put well, links down below, you guys can all check that out. Thank you very much for listening to what I have to say. It was really hard talking about it. Um, yeah. So that's it. Thumbs up, I guess, if you want to like this video. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I just, uh, if you know someone going through a lot of stuff and they're struggling with who they are, don't put them down or doubt them or leave them. They need all the support that they can get. And they just, just don't leave them alone. Let them know that you're there for them. <laughs>